Good day to all the viewers. Today, we will be doing a presentation on food commodities. The various food commodities to be covered today will be four. Cereals and pulses, vegetables, fruits. Good day to all the viewers and herbs, spices and condiments. There are several exotic cereals, pulses, vegetables, fruits, herbs, spices and condiments that you will learn about today. Begin with the first session. In the first session, you will be able to understand different seeds eaten by us. Know about the composition of a seed and get a visual on various pulses, rice and cereals. Cereals were so named after Ceres, the Roman goddess of agriculture. They comprise of edible grains, dried seeds of cultivated grasses. Cereals or gr grains include the many species of wheat, rye, maize, oats, barley and rice. Cereals are used in the kitchens as flours, whether wholemeal or refined. Flowers are used in the form of dough, batter or paste. Please remember that cereals are dried seeds of cultivated grasses. Pulses are part of the legume family but the term pulse refers only to the dried seed. Examples of pulses are dried peas, edible beans, lentils, and chickpeas. Pulses are very high in protein and fiber and are low in fat. So, the difference between pulses and cereals is that cereals are dried seeds of grasses, whereas pulses are of the legume family and they are the dried seed of legumes, of beans. Legumes are of three types, soya bean, le, le, soya bean peanuts and the other type is pulses. Pulses may be dried beans, dried peas, chickpeas or lentils and the third category is fresh peas and fresh beans and below each of these category there are there is pictorial description composition of cereals and pulses the composition of cereals and pulses is the same even though they are different but the composition of the of the grain of an individual grain as shown in the figure on the top right is the same it consists of three main layers the outermost layer surrounding the grain and protecting the devel developing kernel comprises of cellulose, vitamins and minerals is called bran. Bran makes up 14% of the can can kernel. <coughs> bran makes up 14% of the kernel. After bran is endosperm. Endosperm is the central and set largest part of the grain. It comprises of starch, protein, minerals, vitamins, and cellulose. Endosperm makes up 83% of the kernel. So 14 plus 83 is 97, and the remaining 3% is by germ. What is germ? Germ is the smallest portion of the grain through which the new grain develops. It comprises of unsaturated fat, minerals, and vitamins. So germ. As you can see in the diagram, top right is like the egg yolk of an egg. 
it, this is the place from where the new plant comes where life is these are the seeds that we eat good day to all the viewers today we will be doing a presentation on food commodities the various food commodities to be covered today will be four cereals and pulses vegetables fruits and herbs spices and condiments there are several exotic cereals pulses vegetables fruits herbs spices and condiments that you will learn about today we'll begin with the first session in the first session you will be able to understand different seeds eaten by us know about the composition of a seed and get a visual on various pulses rice and cereals cereals were so named after ceres the roman goddess of agriculture they comprise of edible grains dried seeds of cultivated grasses cereals or grains include the many species of wheat rye maize oats barley and rice cereals are used in the kitchens as flours whether wholemeal or refined flours are used in the form of dough batter or paste please remember that cereals are dried seeds of cultivated grasses pulses are part of the legume family but the term pulse refers only to the dried seed examples of pulses are dried peas edible beans lentils and chickpeas pulses are very high in protein and fiber and are low in fat so the difference between pulses and cereals is that cereals are dried seeds of grasses whereas pulses are of the legume family and they are the dried seed of legumes of beans legumes are of three types soya bean soya bean peanuts and the other type is pulses pulses may be dried beans dried peas chickpeas or lentils and the third category is fresh peas and fresh beans and below each of these category there are there is pictorial description composition of cereals and pulses the composition of cereals and pulses is the same even though they are different but the composition of the of the grain of an individual grain as shown in the figure on the top right is the same it consists of three main layers the outermost layer surrounding the grain and protecting the devel developing kernel comprises of cellulose vitamins and minerals is called bran bran makes up 14% of the can, can kernel <coughs> bran makes up 14% of the kernel after bran is endosperm endosperm is the central and set largest part of the grain it comprises of starch protein minerals vitamins and cellulose endosperm makes up 83% of the kernel so 14 plus 83 is 97 and the remaining 3% is by germ for the germ germ is the smallest portion of the grain through which the new grain develops it comprises of unsaturated fat minerals and vitamins 
so germ as you can see in the diagram top right is like the egg yolk of an egg It, this is the place from where the new plant comes, where life is. These are the seeds that we eat. Some lentils and pulses. Rice, black rice, North America, with that we come to the end of the first part which is cereals and pulses by now you are able to differentiate between cereals and pulses what is the difference between cereals and pulses cereals are seeds of grasses whereas pulses are seeds of legumes of beans you are able to identify various seeds and grains and identify different types of rice <coughs> the next part is second part is vegetables under the category of food commodities in this session you will be able to see many foods obtained from plants identify several vegetables that you have never heard or seen of before and classify vegetables what are vegetables vegetables are foods from plants in french we call them legumes these are the various classes classification of vegetables roots tubers bulbs leafy vegetables brassicas pods and seeds fruits stems and shoots and mushrooms and fungi and following are the examples Moving on, different types of potatoes, I bet you have not heard of the blue potato. Tubers, bulbs, Thank mm -hmm. you.
then bulbs different types of lettuce There are at least 20 varieties of lettuce that are used in kitchens. Different types of green leaves which are eaten as vegetables. These do not include lettuces or herbs. Brassicas, cruciferous stems. Flower heads. Have you seen the purple cauliflower? Different stem vegetables. Pods and legumes, pickles. Aubergine and avocado, cucumber, peppers, chilies. This presentation reminds me of the fact that I sowed 22 chili plants on my terrace herb garden yesterday. And I'm so anxious, I'm so excited to, to see them hatch from the seeds and to grow and then to bear fruits and then turn the green chilies into red and then dry them and then de-seed them and powder them. Such an exciting journey. Fruit vegetables. Now please understand these are vegetables but they come under the class of fruits. Winter squash and the summer squash also.
different aqueous vegetables, watery vegetables. So when we cook them, we don't have to put any water. They themselves have got a lot of water content, moisture content. And so the minute we heat them, the minute we put a little salt on them, they release a lot of water. Mushrooms. This is a wild, wild, wild world. Wow. Oh. WWW. These are the different uh, types of mushrooms, their names in English, French, and description. Different types of mushroom and fungi, as explained in the previous slide. Photographs. Can you imagine the kind of work that must have gone into putting this slideshow together? Months, months, and months, you know, of, of fact finding, research photographing and putting it all together because all these vegetables that are shown are not available around the year they are very seasonal some of them are very seasonal and mushrooms oh my god they are so difficult to because in hotels we normally use only just two or three types of mushrooms but here we have 2000 varieties of mushrooms can you imagine that 2000 varieties of mushrooms that are edible. I'm not talking about the inedible. Okay, so the recap of the session you got a glimpse of the large world of vegetables. You know about various strange vegetables. You can now classify vegetables and you know about the vast world of lettuce and mushrooms. With this, we move on to the next third section of our presentation. The section of our presentation is about fruits. The objectives of this session are to understand the way fruits may be classified, to identify various exotic fruits, and to know about dry fruits. Now, this is how fruits go. There are fruits and vegetables go. There are two classes of fruits and vegetables. And as you can see in the figure, there is a certain area which is common to both fruits and vegetables. So vegetables which are fruits and fruits which are vegetables. A very small category of thing of commodities come under this category. For example, tomatoes. For example, lady fingers. Now lady fingers are vegetables, but they come under the class of fruits. Similarly, tomatoes are fruits, but they come under the classification of vegetables. This is how fruits are classified, hard, stone, citrus, nuts, tropical, and others. Please read examples. You might want to take a screenshot of this slide. Okay, moving on. Square watermelon. We can do anything. These are some stone fruits.
bunches of fruits. And last slide about fruits is about dry fruits. So many types of dry fruits. Have you heard of many of them such as pecans? Have you heard of black walnuts, sunflower seeds, macadamia? They are a compact source of energy. The third session, the third section of this presentation has come to an end. By now, you are able to understand the way fruits are classified, get a visual on various exotic fruits, and know about many dry fruits. Now we move on to the fourth and the last section of our presentation today. The fourth section is about herbs, spices, and condiments. Now, what is the difference before we proceed? Uh, let me just tell you. Difference between herbs, spices, and condiments is that herbs are leaves of shrubs of small plants leaves of shrubs which are used for flavoring foods herbs what are spices spices are other parts of the plant other than leaves that are used for flavoring and providing taste and nutrition to the food spices non-leafy and condiments may be herbs or spices or sauces etc except that condiments are those items which can be served directly to the guest on his table so let's take an example of salt now salt is the king of spices yet it is also a condiment because it can be served on the table to the guest for the guest to add to his food directly by himself similarly all spices all spices is a mixture of spices they can be served as condiments to the guest on his table herbs such as parsley such as basil marjoram are herbs but they can also serve as condiments in the way that they can be served to the guest on his table for his use so it might be a herb or it might be a spice or it might be a sauce it becomes a condiment when it is when it has the ability to be served on the guest table in this session we will be able to list and identify the different types of condiments identify herbs and spices and describe their uses in cooking spices and herbs can consist of flower buds, bark, seeds, leaves, or many other types of plant, many other parts of a plant. These are some spices, the photos. Next slide, please. Some herbs. Please note. More herbs. Thyme, tarragon, marjoram, shives, and dill.
a great huge world of herbs herbs can be fresh or dried These are some oriental herbs. Salt. NaCl, sodium chloride. Please pay attention to the last bullet. This king of spices, salt is the king of spices and condiments. It is the king of spices as well as condiments. What is the use of salt? The use of salt is to enhance flavor and taste of foods. What does it mean? It means that it enhances, it heightens, it brings about the flavor of the same food itself. It does not add a new flavor to the food. Like spices do, like herbs do, they add a new flavor to the food. What does salt do? It enhances the natural flavor of food. and taste and of course it preserves the foods types of salt we have been able to get photographs of packets of the different types of salt as they are available in the market Some salts we couldn't get the photo of the packets, so we've shown them in bowls. Several hundred types of salt. There was Sugar, C12H22O11, a carbohydrate. Next type, please. Types of sugar that is used in foods. We'll show all these types to you in pictures. The last one at the bottom right is powdered sugar. Saffron. Flower of the saffron crocus.
the saffron crocus flower there are certain sauces which are served on the guest table as condiments such as worcestershire sauce anchovy essence soy sauce and tomato ketchup These are some photographs of condiments. Mustard. Mustard is also a very important condiment. Different types of mustards are available. French, American, English, German are the main ones. Photographs of mustards. Vinegar. Vinegar is also a condiment. Wine, sherry, rice wine, and beer. Malt vinegar, balsamic vinegar, rice vinegar. Please read. Moving on. Look at the colors. Oils. The various oils used for cooking. Some of them are condiments also. Some of them are served to the guest on this table such as olive oil. In Japanese cuisine, sesame oil. But other than olive oil, most of these oils need to be cooked before they can be consumed. Fats, lard, shortening, and margarine. I've tried to cover as many commodities, food commodities, as time permits. Olives. Olives are Mediterranean. There is a Great use of olives in Lebanese cuisine. Green and black. Olive oil.
We are about to come to the close of this presentation. Chocolates. This is the last picture. And the end of this session. Recap. Now you are able to list and identify different types of herbs and condiments. Identify various food commodities like olives and saffron. And understand the different types of salt, sugar, fats and oils, chocolates, etc. used in the kitchen. Thank you very much viewers for watching. I bless you. I pray to God that He keeps you safe like He's done so far. That you continue to be good to your people at home. That you continue to endeavor to improve yourself and make the most of the time that God has so kindly given us in the name of C19. With that note, I would like to bid adieu, farewell to you. Bye-bye and take care, please. God bless you. Good day to all the viewers.